Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how we do the sum that is mentioned on the paper. As you can see, the first three numbers are to be added. Okay. And then the rest of the four numbers are to be subtracted. If we just have a glimpse at the numbers, it's quite obvious that the uh, subtraction numbers are larger. So at some point uh, during this subtraction or during this sum, we'll be needing the borrowing method, needing to use the borrowing method. I have already uh, put up my videos explaining the borrowing method. I will be giving the links in the description of this video. So you can also have a look at those videos. In this particular video, I will be just demonstrating this particular sum and trying to explain it again. So let's start with the first number that is 30. So this is being our units place, 30 will be taken in this fashion, 3 on the tens place. The next number to be added is 96. So adding 9 on this rod will be done using the big friend formula, which is minus 1 plus 10 and 6 on the units place will be done directly. Okay, so 96 is done. The next number to be added is 310. So on the hundreds place, we are supposed to add 3 and you can do it directly. On the tens place, we are supposed to add just 1. We have a bead 1, so I can do it directly. Nothing to be done on the units place rod. Okay, now moving to the subtraction part, the first number to be subtracted is minus 170. Okay, so on the hundreds place, I'm supposed to subtract 1, I can do it directly. On the tens place, I'm supposed to subtract 7. For subtracting 7 here, I need to add 3 and then subtract 10 on the next left rod. Okay, so to add 3 on this particular rod, I will have to use the small friend formula for plus 3. Small friend formula for plus 3 is plus 5 minus 2. Okay, so plus 5 minus 2 finishes the plus 3 part. Then follow it up with minus 10 on the next left rod and complete the subtraction of 7 on the tens place. For nothing to be done on the units place since the digit to be subtracted is 0. Moving to the next number that is minus 279. Okay, so on the hundreds place, we need to subtract 2. We do have the bead of 2 here, 2 beads here. So we can do it directly. On the tens place, we are supposed to subtract 7. Now for subtracting 7, we don't have enough beads here and neither do we have anything here so that you can use a big friend formula as well. So nothing to be, nothing can be done directly. Okay. So in at this point, we'll be needing the borrowing method. So we, we are falling short of beads on this particular rod. That is a tens place rod. So we can, we need to borrow one on the next left rod. So this being of the hundreds place, I'm borrowing one bead on the hundreds place. I'll just mark it here. Okay. On the corresponding hundreds place for this set. So I'm just marking it here that I have borrowed this particular bead on the main calculation set. Okay. And then continue with the subtraction of 79. So 79 is to be subtracted, 7 is to be subtracted on this rod. Now I can do plus 3 minus 10 here. So plus 3 minus 10 is done. On the units place, I'm supposed to subtract 9 from the 279. So for subtracting 9, I'll be using the big friend formula, which is plus 1 minus 10. Okay. So subtraction of 279 is done. Now the next number to be subtracted is 458. So on the hundreds place, I'm supposed to subtract 4, but we don't have anything here. So we are again falling short of beads, required beads here. So since we are falling short on the hundreds place, we'll have to borrow on the thousands place. So we'll, I'll borrow one on the thousands place. Okay. So I'll mark it here on the thousands place. This corresponding thousands place of this particular set. Units place, tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. So I'll mark it here that uh, to remember that we have already borrowed one on the thousands place of the main calculation set. Okay. Now I'll continue with the subtraction of 458. So for subtracting 4 on this hundreds place, I will have to add 6 and subtract 10 on the next left rod. So adding 6, subtracting 10 on the next left rod, subtraction of 4 on hundreds place is done. For subtracting 5 on the tens place, I can do it directly. I have the bead 5 available. So done. On the units place, I am supposed to subtract 8. So I will use the big friend formula for minus 8, which is plus 2 and minus 10. Okay. So subtraction of 458 is also done. 
coming to the last number that was minus 73 on the tens place I am supposed to subtract 7. I don't have enough beads so I will have to use its formula big friend formula which is plus 3 minus 10. For doing plus 3 I will have to use the small friend formula of plus 3. So which is plus 5 minus 2. So plus 5 minus 2 finishes the plus 3 part. Follow it up with minus 10 on the next left rod and the subtraction of 7 on the tens place is done. Coming to the unit space, I am supposed to subtract 3. Okay, I have 3 beads available so I can do it directly. Now, the main calculation part is done. Now, coming to, to arrive at the final answer, we have to do just one, follow, one single step remaining. This number 556 that we have on the abacus here on the main calculation set, we will have to subtract this 556 from this set. Okay, this is the corresponding uh, set for bo uh, borrowed beads. Okay, so this 556 number will have to be subtracted from this 1100 number. So subtracting 556 from this, on the hundreds place I will subtract 5 which is plus 5 minus 10. On the tens place again subtract 5. So I will do plus 5 minus 10 here. And on the units place I am supposed to subtract 6. So I will do plus 4. And for minus 10 on this rod, I will do plus 4 minus 5. Okay, so the subtraction of 556 from the 1100 that we had borrowed is done. And the final answer that now we have is minus 544. Okay, the answer is negative 544. Okay. I hope uh, this explanation or this demonstration is helpful to everyone here. Please do watch the uh, links of the uh, videos of the links that I will be sharing in the description as well, where I have explained this borrowing method in detail in uh, two different videos. Okay. If in case of any difficulties or doubts, please do write in the comment section below. Thank you.